Good morning. Hey guys, we ready to leave in five. I'm like, I have all black on. All black? Are you in mourning? Or <laughs> you look great, kid. Um, he's never been. You never been to Burger King? No. Uh, I don't know. He's a Whopper and chicken fries. Oh, he's getting a Whopper and chicken fries today. Um, I don't know how this happened. I don't remember what. Because it kept saying Whopper, 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 Whopper. Okay, so one of the more. Oh God, I got it in my eye. I did this before and it hurts. Yeah, the kids always have little kid songs. Mm -hmm. SBK. Okay, wait. That's just the theme song to the commercial, isn't it? No, there's like a bunch of them. Okay, well, anyway, he's on Whoppers, and then we I was like, what are you saying about Whoppers? And he's like, I've never had a Whopper, and I was like, this weekend. Big plans for the day, getting Jay a Whopper, his first trip to BK. We eat out and stuff, but normally it's like Panera and Wingstop, and like, you know, it's not... It's not like normal fast food because Nala especially she won't eat it So I don't like going places where I know only one kid's gonna eat But right now what we're gonna do real quick here is we're gonna go to Casey's because it's Friday and um, what do I have planned for the day guys? I'm gonna go get my nails done even though like they're still so cute. I'm just I loved these nails so much um, I think I'm gonna have her take them down a little bit make them a little bit shorter and then in real time here It's not Valentine's Day yet, but that's okay. <laughs> I just like pinks and whites and hearts like very feminine dainty type of stuff like it's my jam when it comes to nails first thing we're gonna do is go to Casey's then I'm gonna get my nails done then I'm gonna come home just kidding we're gonna go to Casey's drop the kids off come home make a coffee try to build a little bit more of this Ikea dresser I started it last night normally I just go straight through but I wasn't trying to like ruin my night to stay up all night to build a dresser that don't nobody care about so like I care but nobody cares about it at night you know what I'm saying so we're gonna build that, I'll show you that. I'm switching the hardware out to try to make it match my room a little bit better, but I don't know. I, it doesn't completely gel with the vibe of my room, but my room doesn't have a great vibe overall, so I'm working on it. I can see the whole city from this Something horrible happened at the gas station. What? I know. Oh, yeah. The, so bad. The, wait, there's always the same cashier there when we go. We and go we, we at go the same Friday, time. So at, like, yeah, like it's always, it's a very quick, simple, like this is a routine. We know what it is. Jaden's gonna get, up. right, not like it's Takis and then Jake's pizza. Nala switches up her drink today. I think she got like a smoothie no, or something. No, I either get tea, um, all this lemonade, and sometimes I get hot chocolate. Right, so like I just said, she just likes to disagree with me. Nala switches up her drink sometimes. sometimes. I, yeah, I've gotten this the past few times, so. No, uh, you got a Gatorade last week. Oh, because I had it on camera. Because it was broken. It breaks sometimes. It breaks. Anyway, so uh, this is my life. <laughs> Nala likes to just disagree for the sake of it. Even when, then she literally will prove me being correct. And then nothing. Nothing. Just right over her head. Phew. Anyway, the cashier says, all right, guys, have a good day. And then... My brain, which very rarely repeats things, you know, like uh, acts appropriately. I don't always say the right things back to people. When they say, hi, how are you? And I say, good. I have a tendency to just end things and not reciprocate the way I'm supposed to. And so I was real proud of myself because as soon as she said, have a good day, I said, you too, while she was saying, at school. And I was like, oh! <laughs> she's not at school. So I told her to have a good day at school. I'm gonna go home and make myself look presentable. I'll work on the dresser when I get back. I just didn't want to do it before. I wanted to get it done before I got my nails redone, but it's fine. It's fine. You trying to open chips back there? Yeah, because so the air will go out. Little loud girl. Look at that breakfast like pizza. Coffee. Ooh. As much as I would enjoy a warm coffee. <gasps> Let me show you these new cups I bought for warm coffee before I forget, girl. My back has been killing me, like with my like period back combo. The cramps have been intense, intense. Way more intense than usual these last few months and then the back pain during my period. Bro, what is life? Okay, I ordered this little set of cups on Amazon. So I was like, oh, I want some cute little, oh, I didn't even realize they're different. Well, that's fun. They're a decent size, like, because they're so wide, they're a decent, you know, size cup. They do stack, I guess. You know, interested in stacking them. Um, and then they come with these two little spoons. So these, like, little, hold on, little gold spoons. How 
fun is this? Like if I had someone over for coffee and I was like trying to set the mood, <laughs> the coffee mood. No, um, really I think I got it because sometimes I want to do coffee content and I honestly, the cup is half of the content if we're being serious here. Some people are posting really good recipes but other people are just posting really cute cups and bowls and plates and little whatever. Just the aesthetic that they have going. But anyway, I got those, I'll link them. I don't think they were cheap though. If I'm being honest, I wanna say they were like 30 bucks. That's gonna be my guess. I think they were like 30 bucks. Anyway, um, I would love a hot coffee. My tum tum is not feeling very good. Uh, I took a bite of Jaden's pizza. He barely ate any of it. <laughs> um, so I was like, you're gonna waste it? And he's like, mom, there's so much cheese on this. And he doesn't like all the cheese. He just likes the eggs. Like they put like egg and like sausage on it. Um, so. I took a bite and now my stomach hurts even more. So I think I'm just gonna do an iced coffee because normally it does not make my stomach hurt and then I don't have to feel bad when it like starts, you know, it starts like melting. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, okay, that was closer than I thought it was. I think we're gonna use these. Do you guys remember these? These have literally been in here for months. I've been using them. They're starting to get freezer burnt. Um, these are the ice cubes made of that wandering bear coffee that I didn't like, but I've been using it lately. Good stuff. So let's make an iced coffee. Oh, and I've been listening to All of the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. I really like it. It's a mystery thriller, but let me just set the mood for you. First of all, I listened to her other thing, uh, What Happens in the Dark, The Light That Flickers in the Dark, the Dark in the Light, The Flick of the Darkness, The Darkness in the Flicker, A Flicker in the Darkness, A Flicker in the Dark. If you doubted me, Embarrassing. I enjoyed that. I like her storytelling. So in this book, we meet a mom who has not slept in a year, not because she has a baby, but because her baby was taken. So her baby was taken, he was 18 months old, and he was just straight ganked out the bedroom. And that's what we open up to, and so she can no longer sleep. Since that day, she cannot sleep. And it's especially hard because she slept good that day. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she used to be a heavy sleeper, now she's an insomniac, and she is telling her story at like different conventions and stuff like that. She's telling her story of what happened because she doesn't want the case to go totally cold and because she feels like she's not getting enough involvement and you can imagine someone that has their child stripped from them in such a way and then has zero leads like you can imagine how intense this person would be in terms of trying to figure out what happened and like you know following different leads and stuff like that so that's kind of how she is and then we're like meeting the husband and what's going on with him and then there's this podcast guy and what's up with him like what's his deal I really think this is me just speculating. I think the podcast guy is going to be involved like in her past or something. I don't know. So she did have some stuff go down in her past too, but uh, the audio narration, chef's kiss. I love it. I love this woman's voice. I feel like I've heard it before, but that's what I'm listening to. So far so good. I have like two and a half hours left. So I'm gonna listen to that while I do my makeup. Okay, but now we'll start by making some coffee. Let's just make a little coffee, because my belly really does hurt. I'll have another one later. The new espresso blend of Stoke is so good. This isn't it. Um, it's. I think I have it outside, but this one's open, so we're gonna go ahead and go with this one. We're gonna add a bunch of Stoke. We'll do a tiny bit of flavoring. Not too much. Three tablespoons of my favorite creamer. There we go. She's the one for me. This has been such an amazing addition to my coffees, especially my hot coffees. It's the Nut Pods Barista Oat Milk in the Cinnamon Dolce flavor. I haven't tried the other one. This is, there's only two flavors as far as I know, like the original one, which might be vanilla or might just be original, and then the Cinnamon Dolce, and it's zero sugar, so you can have eight ounces. It's 70 calories, no sugar, obviously. Um, one gram of protein, six sugar alcohols. Anyway, um, it's a game changer. The frothing is immaculate. The taste is delicious. It's so good. I get mine at Thrive Market, so I'll leave my link for you guys, um, but I just like to top it off with that. And then there she goes. This is a pretty small iced coffee for me. Like, I could definitely do like a good double of this, but she'll get us started for the day. Bad Bunny is ready for the day. I got the cup at a market in San Antonio while I was waiting for breakfast, so. I don't have a link, but I'm sure you could find something similar on Etsy or something. I was not expecting this at all in this book. Oh my gosh, it's just, I just love it. I just love when the twists and turns get to twisting and turning. Um, anyway, about done here. 
with the eyes at least well no with the whole face what am i saying i went a little bit heavier because i bought these things from nyx right yesterday at target and they're supposed to give you like a smoky eye i don't know if you can see right so it's like a brush on one side and then the other side is a color i bought the color mauve grit and brick fire they look like this they have like a you see the tip it's kind of like triangular almost a little bit kind of diamond shaped actually and I can't figure it out. I think it's because I put um, shadow on that it wasn't going over it. So I'm gonna try this on like a naked eye where it's just my lid. But what's cool is then like the other side has a little brush so you can like, uh, let's see, you can like smudge it out, you know? I mean, is it necessary? Probably not, but I don't know. I'm always down for something a little bit different. They were like 10 bucks each. Bye bye, bye bye. Look at how cute. Just isn't there. Lord. Look at them. They're so cute. She put little freaking, uh, what are they called? Lips on it. She put lips on there. They're cute. You're not getting a great sense of the color here, but they're like lavender and white. They're so cute. I love it. Okay. We're home, obviously. This is some of the dresser and that's the rest of it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. It's that color. It's that like white color. My idea was that it would kind of blend with this because we have these funky little, yeah. You see all these little parts that are all jacked up? I just got this. But this little baby likes to do that. Um, I got it to like lay across the end, you know, over the white. Like my bed's not made, so don't don't come for me. But I like, I knew they were going to do this. This is a Casa Luna knit. It's the king size one. It is just so comfy and fun and beautiful. I just was like, whatever, I'm going to get it anyway. And it's fine. This is life with cats, especially a cat who refuses to let you cut his freaking nails. That's just this one. Coco lets me cut hers. Anyway, so I have these. You know, I don't have like the most perfect, beautiful kind of room, but like nothing was gonna go with these, right? And then I have these, which also nothing goes with these. These were the first thing I got. They were like our makeshift, they were like 15 bucks, right? Makeshift little nightstands until I got these, which I got from Target, which they're fine. They're totally fine, totally functional, whatever. It's one drawer. Here's my very exciting nightstand full of whatever, right? So they were fine. So I needed something that was gonna go with this and this. Now there's a bench that has this color and this material and I'm extremely tempted to buy it so that we can kind of continue that color and material down here, put the bench here, and then I'm thinking like with the white, this is Ikea, right? So like I bought these handles. This is my closet um, for anyone who's never <laughs> seen it. This is it, right? So I just hide all my stuff in here. Normally that light turns on. I don't know, what the heck? <laughs> That's the first time it's not turned on. Oh, because it's bright, because <laughs> it's bright outside. Yeah, so we just hide a lot of my clothes and stuff. This is the Ikea pack system. It's lovely, it's wonderful, I love it, it's great. Yada yada, that's the skinnier version because we couldn't do the deep version because of the window. So this is like, you know, their shoes, yeah, blah, 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 whatever, this one has more shelves. So my idea, and this is what my door looks like, okay? My idea was to bring in this look here under the TV and maybe move the TV over slightly and then bringing that look here and then they'll kind of meld together and then we just have a couch over there. I know, the windows just look plain, right? Hold on. I'm not gonna put them all the way down. I just want you to see them. They are the same kind of material sort of as like the bed. It's hard to tell with the lighting, but right? I'm kind of onto something, right? So I'm gonna build this and then I'm gonna make the bed and then I'm gonna show you and then together we're gonna decide, should I go pick up that little stool for the end of the bed? Um, oh, maybe the cats would sleep on that instead of sleeping on, we might be making a trip to Target today because there's only two in the area. You cannot get it online. And one of them is at my local Target. The, the mic is backwards, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna build this real quick. So you don't need to watch me build it. Let's just go from this. Sucker, you thought I was gonna be done when I came back. Yeah, so did I, girl. <laughs> um, Actually, a, a lot of it is done. I took a little break. Um, I just have to build the drawers and I put a blanket up there because I was gonna put the TV there and then Miss Thing was like, but what if I sits instead? And I was like, well, if you sits, then I guess I'm throwing the TV on the ground. This thing is so high, which I liked because I wanted it to be like, 
high on me so that it could function as like, you know, maybe I can put my perfumes in here again. I'm trying to slowly transition back to my bedroom so that potentially that room downstairs, my pink and green one, where I like do my makeup and stuff, it can morph into something else. I think I, I've never loved filming in there because the lighting is stupid. I don't know. I want to kind of start bringing my like jewelry and perfume and stuff back up here and whatever. But I do love the cleanliness of my room. There's like nothing anywhere. I love that. But here's my problem. This TV goes like all the way down here and the dresser is literally right here. So it's just, it's so high. So this needs to get moved up. I think the base needs to go above these and then that means I have to fill these holes and then I think I want to scoot it over to the right um, because we do have this big cat thing in here. It's not permanent and you know she's getting a little she's getting a little jacked up but what ofs. So I need to do that but I don't feel like doing it right now. I have built many a thing from Ikea and this is definitely one of the more annoying things I've had to build. I don't know why. Yeah I think I'm gonna take a break though. I did make a second iced coffee. Oh I finished that book All the Dangerous Things. I was not expecting the ending. I live laugh loved it. Even while it was unfolding I was like where is this going? What's gonna happen? So why is this person talking to this person? And I was like, oh, no way. That was great. I really enjoyed that book a lot. And then I started listening to Fantasia Brino's book, which I bought months ago. And I picked it up specifically because it's not just like a normal straight up memoir. Not the one I'm talking about. This says uh, Kendall and Fantasia Taylor. And it's called No Crowns in the Castle, Building a Strong Relationship in a Harmonious Life. I don't talk to y'all about my real 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 life because this is the internet at the end of the day you know i hit me and my best friend we talk about everything and i'm probably my most real with her and I, and it shouldn't be that way she's not the person i should be my most real with i think there i i have lots of things to work on and i think things are very challenging i liked this book the reason I picked it up is because they, it's called No Crowns in the Castle right which it's talking about being a wife that like submits to her husband I mean I don't know where it's gonna go right I'm only like an hour into it they, they're saying alphas right they're both they were both coming into things like they already had things going on you weren't about to tell me how to do this how to do that and I was like oh this is a great story <laughs> Life is hard, y'all. You gotta like really put an effort for the things that you care about. So um, I'm enjoying this book. It's made me very introspective, which I usually am with books like this, but I wanted to bring it up because got your girl thinking. And <sighs> you know, being these like heavily hardcore independent women that so many of us are, Truly, it's a double-edged sword, girl. Cause like, there's the benefit of independence and then there is downside. There's a downside to it. Anyway, so I've been listening to it and thus far I've, I'm really, I'm, I'm right here with them. I love that they're both telling the story together. Like they're narrating it back and forth together. Um, like you can tell they were in the same room recording it and like in normal in books and stuff they're not and you can tell that they're not but here you can hear them like they're you know it's very interesting I'm glad I picked it up on audible so I'm really hungry <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself a little something to eat because I think I'm just gonna go ahead and partake with the kids today when I take them to to BK have it your way <laughs> I don't see myself eating a Whopper I it's probably been freaking 15 years since I've ever you know since I've had one but nothing against Whoppers you know what I do have something against Big Macs Big Macs are nasty that sauce bleh. <laughs> bleh. Whoppers were always the king in my book, that chicken sandwich that Burger King used to have, they probably still have it, right? We were just like that long chicken patty with like about a cup and a half of mayonnaise with a little bit of sprinkling of the tiny little pieces of lettuce. That was delicious, Coco. Coco Mel, she doesn't like to be hugged. Hi, your baby, but I'm her mom, so she lets me do whatever I want, because I'm her mom. All right, let's, for real, let's go eat. Um, I was literally crying earlier, like, Y'all just be crying. I, I just be crying all the time. Oh my gosh, I cannot keep listening to this book. <laughs> the book is not sad. My life is. <laughs> no, I didn't want to joke like that, but. <sighs> anyway.
Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, this isn't sponsored or anything. I paid for these on my own. I'm trying to get some better ideas for like non, you know, basically for vegetarian. Uh, oh, the mushroom and chai risotto. That I thought Jay would like. The firecracker meatballs with the green beans. Both of the kids should like those. And then I'm gonna make this chickpea fatouche with grape tomatoes, cucumber, toasted pita, and feta. So I will be leaving out the toasted pita and the feta, but what is fatouche? Fat tush? That's what it looks like it says. That says fat tush. Oh yeah, chickpeas. That's the pitas, shawarma to, yeah, yeah, this is a salad. This is a salad, so I'll probably make the salad today. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge and then I'm gonna go sit in this line and I am gonna continue listening to this book. It's not a sad book, it's just like, look, just getting back to what I was saying earlier, it's hard to allow people to step into your lives when you're like a hyper independent person because you became that way for a reason or, or more likely I'm gonna say for multiple reasons. I am the way that I am in terms of my independence and, and my desire to do this, 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 and this. However, I wanna do this, 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 and this. To raise my kids a certain way and to manage my life my interactions, my money, my education, my literally everything, right? Like there's a reason that I am the way that I am. There are many reasons for that. And even if it would be better to be like a different type of person, which I can see the beauty in being like, do you ever look at someone and think like, wow, I could never live like that. But you think of it negatively, right? Like you're like, oh no, cause it's so uncomfortable. But like if you ever take a step back, sometimes you can be like, I can see the benefit of a life like that, right? Regard, you know, whatever it may be in reference to. In my brain, I'm like, I could never, I could never be a woman who stays at home without making her own money, without having financial independence and freedom from every other person on this planet. I think that all the time. And the thing is, it's cause I've, you know, gone through things that have caused me to be that way, but, if I really sat back to think about it, oh well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I could see that. Cause why wouldn't I want to be able to rely on somebody else? Like, why wouldn't I want to be so comfortable, so secure in a, another person basically, in another person, my relationship with another person to feel like I trust in you so much, I know I can let it go. I can let go and I can rest assured that you got me and you know, my family in my case, but yeah, no, like I, I, I can see it. Kind of wish I had this salad already. I'm gonna get a little snacky poo and then go sit. Do I have a snack in the car? I, I don't know. I don't want to be caught with no snack. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna listen to this book and go sit in the line for an hour. Be back soon. Probably with a Whopper. That's well, that's weird lighting. We're back. This lighting is, one moment. Bing. We're gonna close the shades. I didn't end up getting any food there, so. I ate one of his chicken fries and a french fry in the car. What was that? Was that your backpack? That was mine. Here, eat it while it's hot before it becomes a little gelatinous mess. What? I don't know, I'm just saying. But one thing I do know about fast food is better when it's hot. Oh, you got sickle? No, not looking me, not gonna eat that. <laughs> What? It was pure bread. Wow, so you're gonna be a weirdo? <laughs> What's the verdict? How are you feeling on Whopper Gate? Is it Jaden approved? How is the sesame seed bun? He got it with no tomatoes and no mayonnaise. It was altered. Are we gonna try a chicken fry or not? Nah? Well, I thought that. Uno card. She got a little kid to go with. What'd you get? A little tiny cheese. I got Uno call. That's what I'm focusing on. And I got a Diet Coke out of no. this ordeal. You should throw stuff at people. No, you should not throw stuff at people. Does the Diet Coke slap as hard from BK? I don't know. Look at this lighting. Like This is mood lighting. Let me focus. <sighs> I've had two iced coffees and a Diet Coke today. At least I'm caffeinated. The movie theater started selling uncaffeinated Diet Coke. I don't normally drink pop, but like when in Rome, you know, like if I go to a fast food place, which is ob like, I, obviously we don't do that super often, but if I do, then I'll get a Diet Coke. But I was like excited that the movie theater started doing it. Cause a lot of times when I go, don't want to eat a bunch of candy, even though I will. I feel like I, I sprained my jaw eating milk duds the other day. It took like four days to recover. So I like that they sell the caffeine free one though. Cause we usually go at night. And... Anyway, that movie was gone. 
Yeah, that movie was really bad. We almost walked out. It was so bad. All of us thought it was horrible. What's it called? Knock, knock on the cabin. cabin. Knock on the cabin. It was Ronald Weasley's new movie? No. I thought it was horrible. Uh, no, none of us liked it. it was... Jaden's running a black market at school. He is. We are on the prime. This is the wall lighting. It's like no, look at me. me. This is golden okay, hour. Someone so play golden hour by Javicki. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the, I am on the prime like mailing list, right? So I get drinks delivered. And we get drinks all the time. Whenever they come out with new stuff, we just get drinks. And Jaden <laughs> has apparently been taking them to school and today he okay. was selling. He was selling. No, one. okay. So somebody took two and somebody else paid him five dollars for one. I'm a hustler, baby. He should have made the other dude pay. <laughs> I if you no, yeah, I told him not to sell Prime. That's cool. Yeah, I but once I'm... had a lollipop ring going in high school and I almost got kicked out. What do you mean? Lollipops? Mom. Listen, we convinced Grandma. We went on a fundraising website. We convinced Grandma to spend like $150 on all of these lollipops. And we said, we can turn around and sell these lollipops for 50 or for 75 cents or two for a dollar. So me and Uncle Jason started taking, the, you know those big lollipops and big dumb lollipops, the big circular ones? We started taking them to school and selling them out of our backpacks. Well, Anthony, which was some kid who was slaying mixtapes at the time, he didn't like it. He got mad at Uncle Jason and he narked on Uncle Jason who then, on no, he didn't knock on me, but like they knew how to put us together. We are literally siblings and we had already gotten in trouble together plenty of times. So they already knew what the deal was. And they were like, if you keep selling these lollipops on campus, mer, mer, mer. and so we still sold them for a while longer, but then it died down because we had to be so shh about it. And then we got down to the flavors nobody really likes. And we ended up having way too many lollipops. We did pay grandma back and then we profited lollipops at that point, but we were able to pay her back. So us. I am uh, many, you need an entrepreneurial spirit. This okay? is the only thing I cared about from Burger King or Toad Shop or whatever it's called. Um. <laughs> Woo! I really love that book. It's basically over at this point. I have like 10 minutes left. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. It's not gonna be for everybody, okay? But for me, my life, the way I want to live, things I believe in. Wow, it was it was great. Um, look what I finally did. <laughs> so my TV is too big. And it is too far left. Like it's centered actually on the wall. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it is centered on the wall, but this TV is too big. And then this is not supposed to exist here. So like give it one more look and imagine that's not there. Not bad, huh? But it is there. <laughs> but it shouldn't be. But it is, so what are you gonna do? Um, my intention was to put some plants. You see this plant? It's too freaking big because the freaking TV is so big. But I did switch out the knobs. They were some little ugly black knobs and I switched them out. And this is what the drawers look like. So cute, I know, oh my gosh. I'm just kidding, it's fine. The style is definitely completely different than this style. So do they go together? No, this has a more, traditional like and this is more like modern and there was there was a dresser that had this almost like this shaker kind of style but it was low and I just didn't want that and it's fine it looks fine right I still think I should get the bench for right here to bring the bed in I didn't end up making the bed my pillows are like whatever but anyway that's that on that <sighs> I hope you have enjoyed spending the day with me as I put a little dresser together and whatever. I'm gonna have to style it, so I think a trip to Target, maybe Home Goods, is in my near future, maybe tomorrow. I actually don't intend to use any of the drawers. Hope you guys have enjoyed hanging. I'll link what I can link. This actually, the dresser, they actually sell a glass top for it, which I think I should invest in. It's only 40 bucks, but um, it's out of stock. Like almost everything on Ikea. I love Ikea. I do love Ikea, that's like not a joke. Mm. Oh, one more thing. What should I put above my bed? That used to be above my bed. And then I took it down because I was like, this is, we're really overdoing it. I'm thinking about getting mixed tiles, but then that feels like, ugh, like too much. Like, do I really want more pictures of us? I don't think so. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll smell you later, cutie pie.